How's it going? It's been a bit of a change of seasons since I was last out here filming a video. The last time I filmed was back in November, it's now middle of May. Uh, it's been quite a long time, but I'm finally back. Obviously this time of year, it's not about mushrooms, it's about insects. So I've got my flash and diffuser set up with me. I'm starting the day here next to this nice, small, wild pond in the hopes of finding a few resting insects in the reeds and grasses around here. It's currently only about 6.30 in the morning and it's quite a cold start, so the insects should still be quite sleepy. Because that is the difficult thing this time of year, when the sun comes out and it gets warm, a lot of insects will wake up and become too active to get a good photo of. So let's jump right in and see what I can find. It's only been a couple of minutes, I've already found my first little insect, this little green weevil here. It's a bit more active than I expect for the time of day, so I'm not too sure if I'll be able to get much of a stack of it or anything. I can probably at least get a single shot if nothing else. I think I'm going to place this leaf down on the ground in front of me here so I can lie down and try and get a couple of shots of it. It is staying still at the moment. So fingers crossed it stays still long enough to get at least one stack. It is facing sideways however, so it'll only be a side on shot at the moment. I only have my settings a bit wrong, so it wasn't firing as fast as I'd like. Let's try again. Yep, it is wandering off again. And is now just on a blade of grass instead of the leaf. That's not a problem. Should still be able to get a shot of him there. That looked like it should turn out pretty nice. Can take a couple more because sometimes you get movement that you don't expect that ruins the stack. He's waking up again. I think I'll move him off the path now, keep it safe, and then see what else I can find. Just uh, noticed on this shrub here, there's quite a few little bees buzzing around. I don't know if you can see any of them through the camera here. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna change my camera settings over to focus on a single shot, because obviously they were way too active to get a stack. I'm just gonna spend a couple minutes trying to snap a few single shots of them. See if anything turns out decent. They always struggle to photograph things like bees when they're this active, but it's worth a try. One in here that looks like it might turn out good. Don't know if any of these are turning out any good. Try a couple more and then move on. I don't want to spend all day here. I'm not too sure how I even noticed this, but just walking along the path and I spotted this little black spot on the floor. It's this little fly species here. It's perched almost perfectly for a nice portrait shot of it. Just have to hope it stays still long enough for me to take it. I'll see what I can do with it. Uh, of course, it's starting to move as soon as I pull the camera up. Just wait for it, see if it stays still again. decided to perch itself on the top of a blade of grass for some reason which might make for quite an interesting shot actually just switch back over to focus bracketing oh, it's starting to move again give it a little bit of time see if it settles really just doesn't want to sit still Maybe now. No. Try again. That might have been good enough. It did move a bit, but a bit of movement can be saved. It's not fun. I don't enjoy doing it because it makes the stacking process very tedious. might finally be the shot that I was after. 
hope it is, because I'm going to move on now. I'm fed up of staring at the same fly. Now, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this through this camera, but down in here, just there, it's a really nice little spider. I'm going to do my best to try and get a shot of it. It's in a bit of an awkward location. It looks like it should make for a really good shot if I can get the right angle. So it's a bit of a tricky location with the water here. I don't want to fall in. It's very hard to hold the camera still at this angle. Hopefully one of those has turned out quite nice. It's a bit of a change of habitat now. Obviously I'm not by the pond anymore. I spent the last half hour or so not finding anything else by that pond. I thought I don't want to spend my whole day there and not find much. I've only got maybe an hour left before it gets too busy up here anyway. So I've came to this more wooded shaded area where there's a lot of dead wood logs lying around on the ground. So my plan now for the next half hour or so is just search underneath that dead wood and in the leaf litter and see what I can find just lying around on the ground here. I even find a few things perched on some of these larger fallen branches and stuff. It's usually a good spot for insects so fingers crossed there's something here. So I'm just gonna start looking under all these pieces of bark and wood that are lying around just very carefully turn them over have a quick look to see if there's anything hiding on them or on the ground underneath where it was. And of course, always put everything back exactly how you found it. Oh, so far there doesn't seem to be anything around here. It's the first time I've came here and not instantly found something. few wood lice and centipedes. I suppose I can try and get a photo of a wood louse. It's a very common subject, but when there's not much else, it gives me something to do. I don't think it's one of my best, but it's something. Just turned over a couple more logs, finally found something. It's little centipede here, it's quite a small one. I put my finger next to it there, you can see it's very small compared to some of the ones that I've found, but I'll try to get a photo or two of it, see what I can do. I'll try and get a low down head on angle of it. That should turn out all right. I might try to take a top down shot of it as well, see if that looks good. Gently put this back where I found it, so I don't disturb anything. I've just turned over this log, found this little red ant's nest under here. Gonna quickly fire off a couple of single shots and then put the log back. I don't want to disturb them for too long because obviously I've kind of exposed the nest here. So I'll see if I can get a couple of shots quickly. And I'll just put the log back. I've noticed a couple of wolf spiders running around in here. I can see one there. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm going to have a quick go, try and snap a couple photos. There's one here, you can just about see it there. It's got a little egg sack with it as well. So I'll try and get a photo of that one, because that could turn out quite good. And I can try and get a head-on shot of it. I'm not really going to be able to see the egg sack, unfortunately. I'll take this while it's in position, and then 
try and get a side on shot if I can. I spent a little while trying to get a side on shot and unfortunately it just keeps moving. So I think I'll leave that for now because I don't want to keep disturbing it. So a bit of an unexpected find just along the footpath here. It's really cool. I think it's a minotaur beetle. I've just managed to get a side on shot and a close up portrait shot of it before it woke up. As you can see it's quite active now so I probably won't get any more. I'll just wait for it to wander off the path a bit so I know that it's safe, it's not going to get trampled on. And I'll keep going. That's been nearly an hour now since I moved to this location from the pond. And as you've seen, I've not really found much here either. I think the problem is it's been such dry, warm weather for about six or seven weeks now. We've had no rain, so there's just not much life out at the moment. Everything's hiding underground in the bit of moisture that can still be found. So I think it's time for me to call it a day. Hopefully get some rain soon so I can start finding some more species again because this has been quite a slow day. But it's still nice to finally be back out with the camera. Getting back into the rhythm of things, I'll hopefully be uploading more regular long videos again now. I'll aim for at least one every two weeks, slowly ease into it. So unless I find anything on the short walk from where I am now to the car park, then I think this is the end of the video. I will put anything else I'll find in after this, but if there's nothing else after, I didn't find anything. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more.